What's Shake and Simplifiers? Welcome to one of my favorite days in the organizing ABCs because it's the day I get to talk about V is for vertical space. So if you've ever looked at an organizing magazine or an organizing blog or even watched videos on this channel, you may have heard mention of vertical space in relation to getting your home organized. And today I want to share with you some of my favorite ideas that might help you take advantage of that vertical space around your home a little bit more efficiently. We'll start out with something like wall shelves and picture ledges, which may be the first thing that you would think of in terms of using vertical space in your home because it hangs on the wall. I use the ones pictured here in a client's bedroom to display some of the memorabilia of different Broadway shows that she'd seen. When we were going through her room, I asked, why are these things in a box? How are you supposed to relive the memory? Or why did you buy them in the first place if you're just going to keep them shoved underneath your bed? So for about $25, we got these picture ledges at Ikea. And now every morning when she wakes up, she's reminded of these awesome experiences that she had at these Broadway plays. Next up, we'll talk about the backs of doors, like pantry doors or basement doors or cabinet doors. If you go on Pinterest, you will see all kinds of options like this for using the insides of your cabinet doors for space that you might not have thought of using previously. I've seen examples where people have used cork or magnet boards on the inside of their cabinets to help free up drawer space by hanging measuring cups or measuring spoons or clear off their refrigerator by magnetizing calendars or school papers on the inside of their cabinets rather than looking at the clutter on their refrigerators. If you're looking to utilize the inside of your pantry door or basement door, you could use something like this from Alpha from the container store. They usually run between $70 and $100 depending on how many baskets you get, how high the baskets are, how big the baskets are, but it's a great way to utilize that vertical space on the back side of a door that might go unused normally. Next, let's talk about risers or wire shelves inside any sort of cupboard or cabinet that is tall that needs to be subdivided a little bit. There are all kinds of inexpensive ways to divide cabinets and make it easier to find items in there. This picture here is from a linen closet that I worked on where the cupboards were really tall but they were also very deep. And the client was having trouble finding all the stuff that would sort of get pushed to the back of the cabinet. What we did was add an inexpensive wire shelf to the cabinet, and that allowed us to pull some of the frequently used items that would get shoved to the back forward. Now he could find the things that he needed on a regular basis without having to get on a stepladder and dig around towards the back and see what it was that he was missing. Another option to help you see what's in a cabinet or cupboard more easily are risers. You can get them in a couple of different depths. Some are better for things like spices or small items, or there are ones that are available for larger items like cans or bottles of oil or bottles of lotion if you're using them in the bathroom. Again, these are inexpensive items that are usually available at places like the Container Store or Target or Amazon for about $10 or so. They usually come in an adjustable size so that you can make them fit the space that you need it to work in perfectly. And what's great about the risers is that you don't have to pull everything out of the cabinet in order to see what's hidden in the back. The riser pushes it up so now you can see what's hiding back there. When it comes to closets, a relatively easy and inexpensive way to gain a bit more storage space without having to recreate the wheel is to move your shelf above the closet rod up and add an additional hang bar across the middle of the closet. This can double the amount of hanging space that you have in a typical closet. So this may cut down on the amount of long items that you can hang in your closet, but I usually see more people with things like jeans or slacks or shirts that they want to hang up versus dresses or long coats or things like that. And finally, I love the idea of storing things that are flat vertically instead of horizontally in order to take up less of a footprint and make them easier to find. So if you think of this in terms of like a file cabinet where you open the drawer and you can look down and see where all of those things are filed and hung in there. Items like baking pans can be stored using special baking racks that you can get at places like 
Bed Bath & Beyond or the Container Store or in one of these from Shelf Genie, which is one of my favorite ways to store baking pans. I love this product. It's a drawer that you actually pull out of your cabinet and can look down and see all of your baking pans or cutting boards filed away for you, easy to grab and easy to put away. So are there areas in your house that you feel like you could gain a little bit more storage space by using some of the ideas that I've given you today? Or are there places that I didn't talk about but you'd like some ideas for? Comment below and let me know how I can help you use the vertical space in your home. And don't forget to subscribe so I can help you and your family get organized and simplify your lives. And stop back by tomorrow when we talk about the letter W, which is for why wait?